Hello, my name is Logan, and today I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine for Pokemon Infinite Fusion. This technique will work on any RPG Maker game that is using Pokemon Essentials. This is not a tutorial on how to download and install Cheat Engine, but I will have a link for a video you can watch if this is something you need. I am strictly playing Nuzlocke through this game, so having an endless amount of money and having an endless amount of rare candies is crucial for the playthrough. First, I will show you how to give yourself a heaping pile of Pokebucks. You want to have Cheat Engine installed, a way to spend your money in the game, uh, like being at a Pokemart, and having a calculator nearby will also make the math a bit easier to do. So as you can tell, I have Cheat Engine over here, I've got Pokemon Infinite Fusion at a Pokemart, and I've got my calculator. Inside the game, we want to talk to a merchant and see how much money we have. We have 3,399 Pokebucks. So from here, we're gonna to go to the Cheat Engine. We're gonna click this icon on the top left, and then we're gonna find Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and hit Open. And from here, we have to use a special formula for what I'm going to show you as far as the money and the items go. So I have 3,399 Pokebucks. I'm gonna go over to my calculator and times this by two and add one. This is the number we need to search for inside the game to change it. So in the value space, we're gonna type in 6,799 and hit for scan. As you can tell, there are quite a few matches and we need to limit this down. So what we're gonna do is go into the game and buy something. We're gonna go back to our calculator, type in 3,099, multiply that by two and add one. Now back over here, we're gonna type that number in, 6,199, and we're gonna click Next Scan. As you can tell, this limited it down to a single choice. We're gonna double click it, and down here in the value column, we're gonna double click this and type in a value uh, we would like this change to. So for me, I like typing in 99,999. The value has to be an uneven number. If it's even, the game will not like that and will probably freak out. So we got to type in a one first, 99,999. Go to OK. Back in the game, sometimes it takes a second, but let's check it out. We'll go back in the Pokemart. And now we have exactly 99,999 Pokebucks. It was successful. All right, now that we know how to get a ton of money, we want to duplicate our items in its exact same way. And I will show you a trick. I am going to duplicate the escape rope. We have six. We want to increase that. So the formula is the same. Six times two plus one. So that's 13. Over here in our cheat engine, we're gonna type in 13. But first we do need to hit new scan. This will reset it. And then we can hit first scan. All right, there are a ton of choices that we can choose from, but we need to limit it. So back in the game, we're gonna choose escape rope and we're gonna give this to a Pokemon. Now we have a new value, it's five. And we're gonna do the formula again. Five times two plus one, that's 11. So over here in value, we're gonna change that to 11 and we're gonna hit next scan. Again, luckily it limited down to a single choice. Sometimes this does not happen. So you have to go in the game and keep doing the exact same thing, either giving the item away using the item or even taking the item back from the Pokemon. And you just keep hitting next scan until it limits the choices down to a single choice. So from here, we're gonna double click it, go down to the value 
And again, it has to be an uneven number. So here we can just type in, uh, I guess, 51. And back in the escape ropes, it did some weird formula, uh, but we got some more escape ropes and we're good to go. Let me mess with the value a bit more. It might be the exact same value we've been messing with, but I believe if you do nines, you can get exactly that amount. So this is a very short tutorial on what you can do with Cheat Engine and Pokemon Infinite Fusion. There really isn't too many quality of life stuff for running Nuzlocks. So I find having an unlimited amount of money and having an unlimited amount of rare candies really helps. If you do have any questions for what you just watched or something related to Pokemon Infinite Fusion or Cheat Engine, please let me know down in the comments below. If there's anything else you want to see, please leave it in the comments. I will try to make a video of it. I know quite a few of you want to know about how to patch the game. There is a new patch coming out, 5.1, but as of right now, it is a standalone version and not a patch version. But once that patch is stable, I believe they will release a standalone patch and I will make a video of how to do that. Please leave a like if this is something that was helpful for you or even subscribe if you want to see more of our content. This is Logan and I hope to see all of you on our next adventure. Bye-bye.